Ronald J. Riederich, EN3SS, Engineman Third Class Submarine Service. Sailed to Hawaii. That took a week, day and night, under power, and then uh, from there, well, into Pearl Harbor, of course, and from there, uh, Japan. Takes two weeks to get over there. And I really enjoyed. Uh, I could see the snow cap on Mount Fuji the day before we got there. It still took us an extra day to get there. So uh, uh, we, we we toured the Pacific and uh, did our did our duty in uh, uh, the waters of Vietnam, the waters of North Korea. Some sneaking around and spying around that I really can't elaborate on, or shouldn't. Uh, and visiting different ports to show the flag, let people know we're, we're still here. And that was the good part, got to see all different kinds of uh, different cultures, very maturing, very maturing. And that should be mandatory for everybody today too. Japan, Hong Kong, very interesting. Uh, Philippines, Singapore, interesting. Thailand, Bangkok was outstanding. Totally different culture uh, that, that uh, it's good to be exposed to, to mature as a human or as an American. Because you you can watch watch this stuff on TV all day long, and it's not the same as looking at it when you're it's right in front of you. The port to port thing, that, that was that was just lovely. I, uh, words fail me sometimes. Uh, Bangkok was the best. Very uh, solid gold, two and a half ton solid gold Buddha sitting in the middle of town. And the reclining Buddha, a little, little guy laying down in a big long room, that had a gold leaf all over it. But I remember looking at two and a half ton Buddha, and I'm thinking, well, I, I come from New York. And if that thing wasn't surrounded by security, somebody would be up there with a hacksaw blade in the middle of the night. And I didn't see any security at all. But I, you know, I know I'm sure plenty of people were looking. But the, and the temples over there, are so ornate and. Uh, it was very good, very interesting. It changes you as a human being, you know, coming from America and, and then experience all of this stuff. Uh, very good. I guess there was an incident or two. Uh, yeah, but there's, there's, there's a few bad, bad guys everywhere. But generally speaking, yeah, I thought we were treated real well. There was some cultural taboos I remember Singapore, they told us chewing gum is not allowed in this country because they don't want them little black spots on their sidewalk. And if you, got, if you were chewing gum or spit on the sidewalk, you're in big trouble. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna tie you up and whip you with a bamboo cane in public so that everybody gets to uh, learn the lesson in addition to yourself. Another thing that today might help things out, uh, yeah, you don't re if you uh, don't discipline bad behavior, it'll continue. So I learned that there. I didn't learn it the hard way. Fortunately, they told me ahead of time. I didn't have any chewing gum and I wasn't doing any spitting on the ground. Hong Kong was very interesting too. Hong Kong Harbor, all the sampans, people living on there, born, live, and die on, that, on those sampan boats. And, it's a whole lot better than seeing it on the TV or in the movies. It was real. And they had a big, uh, I think they called it the floating restaurant. It was a huge barge in the middle of Hong Kong Harbor. And you take a, uh, a sampan out there, or, or public transportation, but I wanted to get a taste of the local life. So I get a sampan to go out there and get off. And, and it's surrounded by fish pens. And you'd walk around and pick your meal and go sit down and they prepare it for you. 
and that was very interesting. They had a place there called Tiger Bomb Gardens, which was a big equivalent of an amusement park, I guess. But it was not like an amusement park here with Ferris wheels and the like. It was it was a it was a mountain that was completely hand carved by a million Chinese people, and it was grottos with figurines. And they had a snake carb that went up the entire mountain to the top. A huge place, I'm talking. No mechanical rise. Just this, this beautiful culture that you, know, you would never see that in the United States. So that was worth the trip. And of course, you know, you go downtown, there's a lot of lights and neon like, like, like in the West. Um, But the culture was more on the on the on the water. I, I didn't get uh, except for the Tiger Bomb Gardens. Uh, uh, there was a rail ride up up one of the mountains. You could go. Interesting place, Hong Kong. So we did that and uh, uh, came back and took another West Pack and a Northern Run. And, uh, and they were winding down the Vietnam War, and they had decommissioned my submarine about four months before my enlistment was up. And uh, I, I got out and went home. Sometimes regret it. Uh, great bunch of guys. Uh, totally, I think, uh, underappreciated by just average civilians, what these guys go through, whether they're under fire actually or not. Uh, they could be dead at any time. These are very complicated uh, vessels and anything can go wrong. And they all deserve more than they're getting. They should be getting the best. Of course, the sacrifice, uh, the great sacrifice of those that gave their lives, but even the ones that didn't, uh, they deserve the highest respect. Not for me, but I, I feel a lot for them, especially today. So many committing suicide because of the, tra the trauma that, that's in their heads. And uh, and their medical service should, uh, services should be the best, huh?